So here in Recap Photo, it's fairly easy to take photos that you've already taken and create a 3D model from them. You can see here that I have two presets that I can work from. One is aerial. If I took a drone or I had a plane and I flew over a site, it's, it's kind of used in like a, a surveying workflow or civil workflows. In my case here, I have just an object. So I'm going to go ahead and use the object preset. You can see here, it just basically tells us to click anywhere so we can browse out and find a folder or files to create from. So I'm going to go ahead and click there. And I have basically two folders that I've taken pictures of of a drone. I have some wider set shots and some tighter set shots. I'm actually just going to use Control A to grab all these. I'll tell it to open those. It'll add all of those. I can tell it to add some more. Like I said, I have some wider set shots and some tighter set shots to get a little bit more detail, another control A. I'll tell it to open. See now I have a total of 105 photos here that all go into creating this drone. Again, some, some tighter shots and some wider ones. I've learned that the wider ones are necessary. I always was trying to kind of outsmart the software and get some really tight images so I don't have so much extra stuff. And I found the software works a little bit better if I have some what I'll call establishing shots to capture a little bit more of the background because it seems to use that to, to kind of process and kind of help understand how everything fits together. So at this point, I just have to hit create. It's going to ask me to name this and I'll call this drone or blog. Uh, you can turn on the auto crop, but it will kind of get rid of stuff. I sometimes will leave that off just so I can, I can delete the stuff after the fact. You can see this is a cloud centric product. Uh, I have so many credits available to me. It's going to take 12 cloud credits to create this, but I've got plenty, so it's not going to be a problem. I'll go ahead and hit start here. And at this point, it's just going to take this down here at the bottom. It's going to prepare. It's going to upload. It's going to kind of cycle through all this. So at this point, it's just a matter of waiting. It could be anywhere from five minutes. It could be an hour or so. It just depends upon how busy the server is. And also just, you know, how, how complicated the job is. So that's all there really is to taking your photos and creating a 3D model from it.